we know that the um, Australian public is concerned about the, the issues that, that we discussed, but uh, we also just previously discussed how we're perplexed that um, you know Labor is ahead in the uh, federal polling, and they're they're a good chance to you know retain governments in the in the two states where they've uh, performed worst. And it's basically I, I feel that the the public they 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 don't feel confident in in fighting back. They feel that. You know, they and, and this is the the left's effect through the the media and the institution. They they've made people fearful to you know speak out, and so they don't realise that they're you know not alone. And that that's one of the things that I found uh, uh, since I've started the Unshackled is that you know the um, the news and content that we we've, we've published uh, the comments are like wow you know finally there's someone who you know uh, 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 who's you know speaking uh, you know what I'm thinking and I realize now that you know I'm not alone there really needs to be this uh, I guess uh, joint awakening where people they because uh, they they have been beaten into submission by the left quite literally if if the if you disagree with the left, they will try and you know beat you up, and, and I think we need we yes, need to conquer the the fear that's been instilled to the people. Yeah, definitely. I think you're you're, you're spot on there, Tim, with the psychological battle there. Uh, if people don't think they can win, they won't fight. So they need to be first of all uh, make it clear to them you can win. Uh, this battle can be won, uh, we can fight, and the ways to do it, the way to fight back, is to do what we're doing now where you just get that message out there. You let people know, just like you said, that there's millions of other Australians out there that believe like them, that think like them, that want to see uh, the country go forward as a strong, independent sort of nation where everyone uh, is a strong individual. They're not relying on the state. We're not state slaves, where we have the right to speak. Uh, and let people know that, that that is it works. It's worked everywhere it's been implemented in the world. And get that information to them. Put them onto those sources of information that will... Uh, you know, it, that will explain those things to them, explain the economic concepts, explain those freedom concepts and why they're so important. I think um, the information age is a double-edged sword in some answer. Yes, it gives the left more avenues to bully people. It gives the left more avenues to sort of push their agenda. Uh, but it's also been the age that's unlocked information and communication. Uh, in 20, 30 years ago, you and I would never have been able to do this. We'd never been able to get the alternative message out there. It's whatever the gatekeepers of information wanted people to know. Uh, that's changed. And we can get a significant message out there in a short period of time. We just have to keep doing it. Uh, it's like John Howard once said, you say it, you say it again, and then you keep saying it. And at the point where you're sick of saying it, people are just starting to get the message. So it needs to be consistent that way. So that's sort of like in the short and medium term. Uh, in the long term, there must be sort of some serious political action. Uh, the Liberal National Parties are no longer conservative. We know that. They don't have the, the back of the nation anymore. Uh, they're pretty much a duopoly with Labor. There's no real philosophical difference. So what you're going to see in the long term is more conservative parties starting and they're going to start coming to the fore. And I think the timing of that will be is as this, as I said in my last uh, piece on cable critique, uh, once the socialist dream becomes our national nightmare, we're going to start seeing the pendulum start swinging back. You've already started to see it creep in. The results of all the policies they're implementing and the real-world results that's happening, like in South Australia with their power prices. Uh, our rise will be timed with the consequences of the left's agenda. And you'll start to see people motivating politically, organising politically, and having some real grassroots conservative political parties. They're going to really start taking seats and start exercising some political muscle in the Australian Parliament. Uh, that's uh, a bit of a concern of mine. Like, that, do things have to get even worse for for people to begin to, you know, really uh, revolt? You know, for example, does you know, um, you know, safe schools have to get you know even worse for there to start uh, being you know, um, you know, uh, angry you know, uh, parent teacher uh, meetings? Like, it's. Uh, you mentioned also uh, in in your article that you know in Eastern Europe, uh, 
you know, they've, um, you know, they're really probably Western civilization's uh, biggest defenders. You know, they want to, you know, protect their, you know, nation, its culture and its history. But uh, they've suffered under 45 years of, of communism. And uh, I've, I've probably said this before, you know, is, is that what it's going to take here? Do we have to, you know, suffer for, for that long for, for people to begin, begin to, you know, appreciate and want to, you know, be eternally vigilant about, you know, wanting to, you know, protect, you know, Australia's uh, fr uh, freedoms and identity. Yeah, look, I don't think it has to. I think to some extent it probably will. And the reason being is because of the lack of leadership on the Conservative side that we've been caught by. Uh, if you had a statesman like the Statue of Menzies or Howard at the helm, you could argue the case. Uh, knew what he was doing to fight back and actually actually believed in some conservative principles. Uh, I believe that you know, that could be halted. We wouldn't have to go down that road. You know, you can see national persuasion happening. Uh, but given what we've just outlined and the status of political, the political situation in Australia at the moment, I think we probably are going to see that happening. Like we just said, Labor are polling federally higher than the Liberals. Uh, they may well be within with a shot getting back in South Australia. If not, you'll have something else that's even worse. Uh, they may get back in Victoria. So obviously things haven't got bad enough yet for people to start realising just sort of what it's going to be. So I don't think it has to, but I, you know, in my honest opinion, I think it's probably going to, at least in the short term. Well, we're certainly doing our bit here with um, uh, myself, with the Unshackled, and you with the uh, Cable Critique. We're doing our our best to you know get the message out there and make sure that the people do have a voice because you know 2018 it, it is going to be uh, a, a crucial year. And um, yeah, uh, it, it's fair to say that um, uh, as I said on the previous podcast, that after the euphoria of uh, 2016 with Brexit and uh, Trump, there's been uh, there's been been a bit of uh, complacency, but you've got to be, you know, everly, you know, uh, vigilant about, you know, because, because the left there, they're always going to, uh, you know, try, uh, try and implement their agenda as hard as possible. Like, you know, uh, you know, just look at what they've done, um, you know, with the, the boat people I issue, they've, um, uh, you know, we've had, you know, strong, you know, border, border protection now for four years. Um, you know, the Australian people voted for, for it in 2013, but it's something that could be all, all wound back uh, tomorrow. So it certainly, it's not just waking people up. It's also, you know, making sure that they uh, stay awake and alert. Oh, yeah. Look, that, that's, that, that's absolutely right. You, the left are always working... They're always scheming, they're always strategizing, they never sleep and they never stop and they never apologize. And that's exactly the sort of mindset we need to have. Continue working, continue being vigilant and do not apologize for our beliefs and do not apologize for our philosophies. Implement them and show people how it can work. Uh, it's exactly what you saw here in Queensland, uh, what you didn't see, sorry, in Queensland here the last election. The, they kept trying to make out the Newman government years were like the worst thing that ever happened and kept trying to make the Nichols leaders, uh, opposition uh, apologise for a lot of good stuff. They could have actually stood onto that ground. And so we need to learn a lesson about that. Stop being intimidated about what we believe. Do a factor on them, double down, and aim back at them. Say, no, what we're saying is actually right. You're the ones that have got it wrong, and start acting on that. Uh, also, another thing we can do, Tim, by the way, is uh, what we've got planned uh, this year. We've got a, a rolling set of meetings we're going to have. We're going to have some speakers on the conservative side of politics in conjunction with Connor Court. I'll keep you updated about that so we can keep people posted, uh, keeping people informed about what's really going on. Uh, they've got a really good one coming up about what's really happening on Manus Island. So I'll keep you posted about that and we can keep up, up our bit and keep people informed. Yeah, certainly we can uh, make uh, 2018 a, uh, a, a good year for us and uh, uh, make sure that, you know, the. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.